Andre Reed, we're right here in the uh, the playoffs of the football season. Perfect time for you, but your interest today out here on the golf course. Yeah, no doubt. And it's the last day. It's a beautiful day out here. Uh, beautiful scenery, beautiful people. I mean, it's 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 an A number one uh, golf tournament. And just to see these guys uh, uh, hitting the ball, these uh, these pro guys, you really have an appreciation for how good they are. Just like little football players watch you guys and try to learn, I guess you look at these professionals and get something out of their game? Exactly, because... You know, as football players, we all we all play golf. We all play in, in different charity tournaments, and we all brag about our games in, in one way or another. But, uh, you know, to see these guys and see what they can do with the, with the golf ball is really, really impressive. Of the other football players that play in a lot of these celebrity tournaments, which one do you like to beat the most, and which one can't you stand being beat by the most? Uh, Sterling Sharp is a pretty good stick. Sterling can play. Um, all the other guys like Marshall and Marcus Allen, those guys are pretty good players. Bruce Smith, Smith is a pretty good player. So, you know, I try to hang with them here and there. They're, uh, uh, they're real good players. So you know, I'm halfway decent on a halfway decent day. Yeah, but which one bothers you the most when he beats you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> nobody. nobody. Nobody, nobody, nobody. I try to beat Bruce a lot because we're kind of almost the same handicap. Uh, Sterling and Marshall and those guys are a little bit better than me. They're, they're probably like a 2, and I'm like a 10, a 9 or 10. So, uh, you know, you pr- try to play. Usually if I play against them, they got to give me some strokes, definitely. Thanks for talking to us. Play good today. All right, thank you. Appreciate it.